Welcome back to the 2019 BYU Football Media Day web chats. I am Lauren McLean, and we are here with the Kafusis. Devin, Isaiah, and Jackson, what is up? Guys, no, how, how's the day been? How's it's the day been, been so far? Uh, it's been, been crazy. <laughs> it's been long. It's, it's kind of long. I feel like I'm in a trap glass case of emotion but sometimes but <laughs> trapped inside but that's been yeah, good you're right? You're a little loopy. You've been here a little long. Yeah, I don't know what, what they put Honestly, I feel trapped in a glass case of emotion too. It's just so many questions and I know. I feel trapped yeah. in a glass case with these guys full of emotion. Yeah, so. <laughs> oh no. So. Because they're full of emotions. You're full of Yeah. Emotions. yeah. Do, you, do you guys like this day or is it kind of like alright it's over I'm done with you know what I'm saying? Necessary evil, or do you actually like it? I, I love it. I, I it just kind of. I think this is kind of the kickoff, really, yeah, the countdown yeah. of you know till the season. So yeah. it's it's always fun. Media day is just like, all right, let's roll. Like it's getting close. You can almost smell it in the air now. And uh -huh. I, I like it. it. Yeah, it definitely just does it for the fans as well. I mean, it gets me excited. It's all for the fans, and so mm -hmm. we just want the fans to be excited for for us because we oh, are yeah. we're ready for a special season. So. Well, speaking of that, you guys—you guys are on the defense, and I'm sure you've gotten this question. But I feel like the def defense isn't talked about as much as it should be because the defense is consistently, consistently really good. So, what makes you guys excited about this year's defense specifically? Let's start with Jackson, the baby, the baby uh, of the family. Yeah, uh -huh. the baby. Uh, I feel like we have a lot more um, depth this year, uh, especially at linebacker. Um, obviously, we have returning um, guys for our D line and. Um, we got a lot of young guys that will be coming back as well that are done with their red shirt year. And, um, so I'm really excited about that. And I feel like, like you said, they've been really consistent. We want to just keep that consistency and improve. So Cool. Yeah, yeah I'm, I'm kind of the same way. I'm, I'm really excited because I think we have a lot of experience, even though we do have some young guys. Um, the, the red shirt rule now, we're playing four games. I mean, Jackson got to play, you know, Max, and just a bunch of the younger guys got to at least experience some games. Mm -hmm. And so, you know, our, our D line is stacked. Linebackers, I'm feeling really confident about. And then our back end, you know, our safeties and corners, we're, I mean, we're just loaded. Oh, yeah. it's, so I, I think, you know, the bar has been set, and, and I think we're ready to just break through it. That's awesome. Devin, what about you? Yeah, um, such as defense, Rose has felt BYU has been kind of a defensive, you know, staple mm -hmm. of a school. Mm -hmm. So being able to be part of it and really see it come together. Uh, you know, with me and the other 10 guys on the field has, has been special. And so we're just hoping to put it together, um, you know, starting this first game with Utah, uh, whether it be uh, lockdown coverage, um, sacks, some hurries, some pressures, some turnovers, some big hits, some big stops. So but it's, it's so we, lo yeah, we love to do it. So it. Just, yeah, just saying it gets me excited. And so I, I'm starting to feel it. And so I love that the, the first game is Utah. And you guys have some Utah ties, which we'll get to. But Isaiah, you got hurt last year in the yeah. Utah game. Do you still think about that? I, I do. Yeah, it's uh, it used to haunt me, but I think I've come to terms with it now. And it's just I've realized that's part of the game. Um, you know, we all go out there and your body, you put your body on the line, and sometimes you get hurt. Some, you know, players don't. Part but of the game. It is part of the game. Uh, it was unfortunate when it happened and, and kind of the outcome of the game. Um, but it's definitely been more of a motivation for me to really get back healthy, to get stronger, faster, smarter, um, so that we can come out victorious when we play on August 29th. Yes. So you, your, your dad played for Utah. Your dad coached for Utah. Yeah. What does the rivalry mean to the Kafusis as a whole? Jack? Uh, <laughs> Jack? I think, um, honestly, I think we're just, our whole family is just grateful, you know, whether we're Utah. Um, football players or BYU football players, family's just grateful to, to have us here getting an education. Um, but we do have a cousin. Good answer. Uh, we do have a cousin <laughs> up there at Utah, and that makes it a little more competitive. Yeah. And, uh, we're a very competitive family, and so I think it'll just be fun. Yeah. Cool. I like that. Yeah. Gr I mean, growing up, I was a Utah fan, and and you know loved Steve. You know when he was here at BYU and Bronson and Corbin, and now De you know we're all yeah. kind of the rivalry to me is. Uh, I, I don't think I, I hate Utah. You know, it, it's not so much a. a it's a, I, I respect them. You know, I, I yeah. love what they've done for my family. The program has done. You know, they've put my uncles and my dad through school, and given them more opportunity. And uh, same same with BYU. So, uh, I I just really am excited. I, I think I respect the rivalry probably more than 
a lot of the fans, you know, they, they, they don't yeah. see, I, I guess, my perspective or kind of the, the it. experience that I have with, with the BYU-Utah rivalry. Listen, you don't need to hate them. It's just as long <laughs> as you have, like, just a little seat. Oh, it, yeah. Oh, yeah. Some, <laughs> that you really want to beat yeah. him. It doesn't have to be hatred, but. That's, right. why, that's why he's the favorite. That was a really good answer. That was, man, <laughs> he's very, he is very well spoken, yeah. I must say. And all his interviews, all of y'all uh -huh. doing a great job. Devin, go ahead. Man, I, <laughs> um... For me, I hate losing. <laughs> We've lost them a, 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 too many times. Yeah, we don't and need so, to say that. I don't even know how many. <laughs> I don't need to say I hate the, I just hate losing in general. Yeah. Uh, and I love winning, especially with these guys and mm -hmm. all, all my brothers on the team. And so um, it's definitely a game I would, I would love to win. And I know a lot of people would love to see us win. Yeah. And so we're out here making the sacrifices day in, day out um, with our workouts, with our lifestyle. Um, hoping uh, and planning on it to be the year that we come out on top and so that's awesome I love the potential of the three of you being on the field at the same time three Kafusis. I, I don't know if three Kafusis has ever been a I thing I don't know I'm I don't on the field at the same so. time I, maybe we'll have, one, to, we'll have to go back and check yeah we'll Actually, have to go we back and check that that's crazy we come out came out together I don't know we'll, we'll, we'll see but I don't, it'll be special I mean yeah. we're all priming ourselves to contribute a lot this year I play some bigger roles and so yeah, it's awesome. Should be good. Guys, what are extended family parties like <laughs> for you guys? Devin, what, what was your, what was the word? That yeah, you? yeah, we, play, we played a game earlier, um, and it was kind of like Family Feud, and so I was like, name a word, or what's one word that describes family parties, and it was based off my answers, and the first one I put was uh, loud. It, it's, it's, <laughs> it, always, it always turns out pretty loud for sure. Um, a lot of fun, um, a lot of food. Yes. Uh, Lots and of food. Yeah, all those together, it makes a good time. And now that we're getting older, it's kind of tough to be together with everyone. Um, but there are those special moments uh, once or twice throughout the year, whether it's the summertime or wintertime when we're done with the season, where mm -hmm. we all get together or we'll all meet up at grandma's house and she'll treat us right with her cooking and oh, we'll have yeah. fun seeing everyone. And it's, it's just a really, uh, really humbling kind of. Um, blessed experience to have and to be part of. So. That's awesome. Oh, I can imagine. I, I'm going to invite myself. For yeah, you keep, I love the Kofusis. You always invite them. Okay, guys, we're going to play a game. Yes. We oh, need all okay. of you to uh, grab one of these. The board here. Because the Kofusis are famous here at BYU, here's who needs a marker. There you go. There you go. Uh, did, I knew, oh, did you get one? You go. I got one. Okay. Big one. We're going to play a game called Name That Kofusi. Oh, okay? yes. Oh, shoot. You have to oh, guess geez. the right Kofusi. The first one is, which Kafusi has the most sacks at BYU? The most sacks. Jackson's ready. Uh, most sacks. Most sacks. All right, let's see. Let's see what you guys got. Bronson. Bronson. Rich. Oh, Rich was. No, it was Bronson. Uh, it was Bronson. <laughs> Rich was my second. I was going to say Rich was Bronson. <laughs> okay, second question. One, one, zero. <laughs> <laughs> just in case. Sorry, yeah, yeah, right, just right. so everyone knows. Just kidding, just kidding. Just kidding. All right, which set of brothers all had a solo tackle in their first career game at BYU? Which what? Say which it again. set of brothers had a solo tackle in their first career game at BYU? Oh, man. Do, do, do. <laughs> Jax is trying to cheat. All right, what do we got? I think Isaiah and Jax, right? Yeah. yeah. Yeah, that's oh, rad, you guys. Gosh. Look you know, at that. You know. I remember it. A couple of good brothers. <laughs> I hope there. you do. I hope that was a great feeling for you. It was. Fun stuff, fun stuff. All right, number three. Who said in their Instagram post, I've never met another mother that can toast Eggo waffles to perfection and then dish them up with the perfect amount of butter and syrup? Who said this on Instagram? Which Kapusi? What? I want to yep. say... All right. <laughs> Wait. Okay, run to three reveal. Devin, it is Devin. It was me. I, I love the mayor. I heard the what? mayor. I, so my mom has, my mom. Our, our freezer is stocked with Eggo waffles. So really? I this guy. It, it's my thing. I was probably on my mission. That doesn't uh, count. I, 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 I saw him uh, at home. Devin right up the street. <laughs> That's all he does. And Look, here it is. Here I'll, it is I'll, right I'll, there. Yep. I'll hint to the Why Eggo waffle. Fire truck? <laughs> it was voting day. I go for my mission ah. in the fall, and I'm always running for mayor. And so she had me go vote, and she's like, throw something up on Instagram to get people to go out and vote. <laughs> and so I was like, a mother's touch is special, but especially with <laughs> Eggo waffles. I mean, you just put it in my microwave, but she butters them and cuts them and serves them perfectly. And I, I want 
be that good of a mother where I can put an egg waffle into the toaster and my, my <laughs> son still thinks I'm the greatest. I'll, I'll, like hint to, I'll put them out on the counter and walk around or I may even <laughs> come back and see wow. if they're done. Just, oh, just oh my gosh! Cheeky guy. So, she, she's, uh, oh, so go. She's awesome. That's why she's married. She is fantastic, so, yeah. Michelle. <laughs> I love Michelle. All right, last question. Which Provo Kafusi comes third in the alphabet and the family? And this is the this family, Kafusi family. Third. Family and age of order goes through the alphabet A, B, so, whoops. I just gave you the answer. <laughs> well, anyway, all right, let's see. It is Corbin. Did your mom do that on purpose, your mom and dad? They got to Alexis and Bronson. A, B, C, D, D. And then they got to A, B, and then they thought, oh, we should go C. And my mom was hoping Corbin would be a girl because she loves Cher. So, really? so Corbin would have been Cher if he was a girl. <laughs> Let's start calling him Cher. Wow. So start calling him Cher. I, so I sense a good Cher song. My mom's a big Cher fan. Yeah, my mom's a big Cher fan, and, <laughs> and so Corbin would have been a little Cher, but he, he's a, it's Corbin, so. Oh, I love it. Guys, I appreciate the oh, time. Awesome. You did phenomenal. Good luck in the you. upcoming season. Thanks Devin, you were a great co-host. Oh, thank you. You it's, were a great co-host. Way to go. Yeah, l looking into it. And so. <laughs> yeah, taking a <laughs> class. Good. Yeah, just, Maybe next year. Jimmy Fallon, I'm coming for your role. And so. <laughs>